not going to look at their ballot and well, say, she just Damn came it, and sat down. Didn't debate her opponent. She just came and sat down with me and, and answered my questions for for a lot of minutes. Um, yeah, a lot of Democrats are questioning your decision. Inflation is still near its highest levels in four decades. In your capital city of Phoenix, it has the highest inflation in the entire country, 13 percent. So if you are elected governor, what specifically would you do differently to fix that? Well, it's a tough issue because it originates, the problem does, out of Washington, D.C., but we still have to help our citizens here in Arizona. And the people who are suffering really the most, I've learned, is is the people who are nearing retirement or who are retired. I've talked to so many of them, and they say, Carrie, I saved all my life, I did everything right, and my retirement savings has shriveled up by third. I've lost a third of it since Joe Biden took office. And so we're going to help in any way we can. And that's why I unveiled a plan last week. A lot of Democrats are questioning your decision. And they're saying, you know, it's the wrong decision. President Biden's former 2020 co-chair said, I would debate and I would want the people of Arizona to know what my platform is. If you think she's as dangerous as you're saying to democracy, is it your responsibility as a candidate who wants to run Arizona to show and explain who their alternative is? That is exactly what I'm doing right now. And there is a lot more ability to have a conversation with you without her interruptions and shouting uh, to do that. She just came and sat down with me and, and answered my questions for for a lot of minutes. Um, yeah. A lot of Democrats are questioning your decision. Uh, can you remind me what I pay you people for? Honestly, throw me a bone here.